Somebody asked the other day, do you have any tips or shortcuts or books to read on how to become an art director? So I was actually curious to see what other people is saying about me. So I went to, um, to blogs and I went to YouTube as well. And I found a lot of misleading content. And uh, even I even found a video that said, how to become an art director in a year. I thought, interesting, one year only to become a director level professional. So I went to, I went to check it out. Maybe, you know, maybe that's the video I need and, and that's all. So I watched a little bit of the video and mainly it's about uh, do a Photoshop tutorial, do a little project here and there. So basically uh, this only means that this formula, this person is, um, is suggesting that you could, you could take to learn to be an art director in one year. The only thing that is going to make you is a student of graphic design. A person with one year of design experience can't do any high level design. There are some exceptions. There are some students that are really good and they can be good at certain parts, but certainly not at producing high level work or uh, being a director, like directing others to make to make a project because they don't have the experience to do so. And even less, something that is really critical to be a true art director is to be a conceptual creative. In my experience, being myself a senior art director, somebody that actually directs and, and work in this field, and I work with really brilliant art directors and with really bad, fake, junior, inexperienced art directors, the only way to be a true art director is to have real work experience. And if you are good at what you do, maybe in the future you will climb a little bit the ladder of design and you could eventually become a director. You could be, director is not only a person that tells people what to do, it's also a mentor. So you can actually teach designers, help them grow. So the, the role of an art director is not just putting things together and telling people what to do, it's also mentoring. You have to have enough experience to help others that are younger or have less experience than you, and you have to, to, to be an inspiration to them. This is also another really important side of being an art director. If you don't have experience, you can't teach anything. If you only need experience, how many years of experience do you need? This really depends because we are all different and it, it really depends. I believe that at least you need to have 10 to 15 years of experience to become a senior art director. To, to explain this, to make a point, I'm gonna use the analogy of, the, of a team. So if you ever watched team sports like football or basketball, you know that the best teams are the ones that play as a team. The best teams are not the ones that have one or two mega stars and the other players are just regulars. So I'm gonna share this little clip of Football Club Barcelona. This was in about 2003, 2004, and you can see how they play. Look how they play as a team, how they pass the ball all the time. They are not trying to do anything super fancy. It's just they are trying to keep the possession of the ball. They were, they were really strong back in these days. They won pretty much everything. And this team was the one known as the Tiki Taka. The national team also played the same way because I think about eight of the 11 players of the national team during 2008, 2010, 2012 were from this exact same team. And of course they played so well that they won the Euro in 2008, the World Cup in 2010, and again in 2012, the European Cup. Probably you know the Tiki Taka strategy because it became famous in the, in the World Cup and the Euro Cup, but it came from Barcelona. It came from Barcelona. So if we look at how they play, who do you think is the art director here? If you think the art director is actually playing, you got it wrong. The art director doesn't play. The art director of Barcelona at this point in time was this guy, the coach. The coach is the art director, Pep Guardiola. He was the one that directed everybody, that let them shine, let them do their job, and directed them the right way to play this way to win. He is the one doing this. The same for the national team. The art director of the national team that won the three competitions was the coach as well, both this guy in 2008 
and this guy in 2010 and 2012. In football, there is no art director, but using the analogy, the players would be the people working at an agency, would be the copywriter, would be the web developer, would be the designer of the many designers, would be the project manager, would be everybody. Everybody work together as a team, as an agency, as a marketing company to help deliver the best possible outcome. So to become a director level professional, you have to prove yourself. That's why these people that are not our directors, they are the football coaches, they all played before or were involved in football before for many, many years. I'm talking about decades. So these people, they have the experience playing at those levels, at national team levels, at European Cup levels, to understand the pressure and the problems these players can go through. So they are there to, to mentor them, to coach them, to guide them through these moments and to eventually to make them play as a team, to get the best out of each of individual and play as a team. And that's the job as an art director, is to understand the strengths and weaknesses of everyone in your team and trying to make the best out of them. So you need to manage resources, you need to manage time, you need to, it's, it's a more management role and also a psychology role as well. So it, it's, um, it's really complicated and it's not something you will learn in one year. Somebody would say, no, but the coach is the creative director. And I would say, no, because the creative director is involved in five games at the same time. I'm using the analogy. There is no creative director or art director in, in football, but the creative director in football would be somebody above the uh, coach, which is usually management, all the people that make uh, big decisions in the team. But the one that goes in the field and, and helps everybody and moves the direction here and there is the art director. So using the analogy, the art director is the coach. How I present myself when I do interviews is like, hey, I'm a senior art director, but I can also design because I can enjoy it. I can get a project just by myself. And some companies hire me to design the whole thing. So I, I get hired for a month or two months to design something and I do the whole thing myself, including presenting to the client, uh, talking to marketing, doing all the whole thing. So for agencies, it's hassle-free. They know they hire me, they give me all responsibility and I do it myself. This is also possible, it's also enjoyable, and it's, sometimes it's even more enjoyable because I get to do something. To be a strong, true art director needs to have the following skills. The first and very important is to be very conceptual. This is what I teach in this channel. That's why I'm teaching conceptual design. Another skill would be to have an extensive experience in design, ideally 10 to 15 years of experience in, in all things design, not just one thing, but if you're gonna be an art director, more like a conceptual art director, it's good that you have experience in, in digital design, in packaging design, in brand design, in, I don't know, even, even in photography or film. Like the more, the more you have, the more diversity you have in your, in your experience, the better. Another skill would be to have the, the tact and the patience and the will, of course, to guide others to follow a direction which leads to the next skill, which is to have a great way to articulate, explain, and sell your work. This is only possible if you have all the other points I just mentioned. I've been in meetings where other art directors were explaining their work and they were so bad at articulating and explaining the ideas that it was really embarrassing. That's when I knew these people is a graphic designer, still needs to learn another 10 years to become actually a director because no one can follow these directions. Articulating and explaining your work in a way that everybody understands it is critical to this role because if you don't explain yourself well and you have five people, 10, 15 to, to guide, everyone is gonna get lost. Everyone is gonna keep coming back to you, not understanding what you told them to do. One last point is the art director I'm referring to in my videos all the time is the one of brand design and communications art director, which is the one coming from graphic design. 
So you start graphic design, you study, you work as a designer for many years, and then you eventually you become an art director. Because there are other art directors, like I mentioned in, in that video I made, you have art director from photography, you have art director from film, and also video games. I'm sure there are other art directors, but these are the main ones you will find. Photography is likely you will end up doing as a designer. Uh, it's something that it comes together pretty much. What I learned over the years is the best is to hire the best photographer, the closest to the result you want to achieve and give the photographer the job of the art director is also to let others shine, to do their work. So if you do good research, you find a really good photographer, the one that have examples of what you are looking for, then you just brief the photographer, say, hey, I'm looking for something like this. Can you help out? Do what you want. You let them a little bit of freedom, they are gonna bring their creativity, they're gonna do something amazing. Film, you could end up doing some film, but again, the same. If I will have to do film, I will hire a really good director and I will just brief, like, this is the intention, this is what we're trying to do, help us. You know, bring your, your excellence and your creativity and do something amazing. And this is how you produce really good work. Like, to me, it's embarrassing to brief or to tell a really good photographer what to do when the photographer has 50 years of experience more than I do. And I'm complete uh, amateur with this thing. Even though I know I can make something look decent, the photographer knows way more. So if you respect others, if you take their professionalism and, and actually collaborate with them, you are gonna end up being a good art director. People will like working with you. You will get a lot of reputation and people will recommend you a lot and you will produce really good work. Video games, I know somebody who is a video game art director and it's a completely different profession, so don't ever uh, accept a job or apply for a job as a video game art director if you are a graphic designer or you come from graphic design because it's not your thing. The same for film and, and the same for photography actually. So if you don't have the experience, you just, you know, try to present yourself as a communications art director or design a director or design director. Design director is, is a slightly different because the design director really only looks at design. The art director is more conceptual. It's the one that creates the vision. The design director doesn't. The design director focuses on how is the design, it needs to look great, it needs to be amazing, which is something I personally don't like doing. I like to oversee the design, more or less give direction, but I don't care too much about, about those details. I like really care about the big picture, but to each its own, uh, design director, I think, is a really um, a useful profession. It's a really important uh, design role, and uh, I wish, like, I wish in the in the future, if I end up being creative director, to have a design director that controls everything that looks amazing. But I think it could be really stressful uh, position, especially if you don't have a good team of designers. And that's all for today. Today is a little bit longer video, but I wanted to explain this clearly so you have a really good idea of what uh, an art director is. And then now you know that there are not really shortcuts. You just, just need to have the experience. You just need to prove yourself as a great designer, a great thinker. And then eventually, if you're really good at this, you will be given the trust to, to direct others and to mentor and to guide and to do all these, all these things we talked about. And let me know if you have any comments. If you have any more questions, let me know because I know this, the art director definition is a little bit complicated. Most people don't even know what it means. And, um, and I think I have a clear idea because I worked as doing this and uh, I see a lot of misleading information. So I'm happy to help. I'm here to help you guys. And if you have, as you can see, you asked me a question that I think is important. I make a video. I made a video uh, not long ago about how to build confidence as a designer, which was really successful. A lot of people liked that video. So if you have a question like, hey, how can I do something, you know, a specific question, something about growth, something about career, I can, I will try to help you. If you ask me something impossible, because some of you ask me impossible things, like how do you do a strategy and then a brand and then a logo and then a design and then a present it and then do the marketing. And I'm like, yeah, I cannot teach you everything in one video. So, and I won't do it. I like to do small specific things because it's much easier for me. But uh, thank you guys. And I will see you next time. Ciao.